Hello and welcome to another episode of Old Alliance Reverse. I'm your host, Ostrilla, and we're playing in Scotland. And at the moment we've um, occupied quite a lot of England. And they have no army, and we're just mopping up. And then eventually we'll get to 100% war score, and we'll be able to get all the things we need. So we just need to occupy a couple more forts and then we'll be able to demand and take the things and then go to war with Denmark and take the things. France declared war on their new enemy, the Papal State. You're going after Avignon. Okay. Kind of good that I wasn't allied with you still. Because I don't like distractions like this. But you go and do that. That's good for you. I think Castile was allied with... Nope, just me and Portugal. He's sensible. Lollard heretics. God damn it. That has more troops than me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, grasslands. Nope. I'll just let you... Wander around. I'll go and clean up after you. I'll go clean up you later. Clean you up. And then reoccupy it later. As long as you don't go to a fort, then I'm fine. In fact, just might sit further away from you just in case. Wonder if I could jump out with my ship because you don't have any ships nearby nothing here nothing here yeah I might do that let's see six five four I think I shouldn't have got it to loop I should have just gone out and manually put it back in that's okay, I'll do it on the next one. Thirty-five. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll come in and clean you up, because it may be woods, but it's fine. I just want to get England conquered completely first. So if I just keep an eye on your navy, I think that's all your navy. So I'll just sit here until till I've taken it all, taken that fort. Then I'll send my troops back around, and then we can take the Lollard heretics. Actually, if I ran down there and took that from this side, after this fort falls, I think you probably cave in. Uh oh It's the British Navy. Go on. Go away. Nobody likes you. Come on, give me this tick. Give me this tick. No, come on. Siege win, siege win.
Come on, I need this to... This fort to win, if I can do that. Oh no. Serious? Oh well. If this fort goes, then I think I might be able to take a whole bunch of land. Free stability? Yes, please. Ta-da! Okay. You guys go and take that. Actually, you don't have to do anything. They will give me all of this. Is that 100%? If I occupied that, that probably wouldn't be a hundred. Uh, if I run around. If I run around and take Lancaster again from the rebels. The rebels are on 0% chance. Do I risk it? If I lose that fort, I'm going to be sunk. Greedy, just to take one more province. Ah, uh, I'll just do that. And then I can leave them to the uh, Lola heretics, and the heretics will run rampant, and there's nothing that they can do, and they're going to suffer the consequences. So, yeah, let's do that. And I can get into my war with Denmark. So I'm going to take that, that, that. Strange that it lets me take it even though it's occupied by somebody else. Oh well. Here we go. Okay. Alright, so Scotland's looking bigger and healthier than England. England's going to suffer immensely. What oh, keeps their siege progress? <laughs> ah, they're about to lose a fort. That's great. Um, now I could pay down the war exhaustion and then core stuff. We still have that looming disaster. I think I'm going to have to take something away from the nobility. Um, where are we? Local autonomy. Maybe I can give... Um, actually, taking away, taking away. Nobility, nobility. Maybe this one? Uh, reduce influence by 9 down to 71 and percentage of land by 6 to 14. Actually, they need 15, so I don't want to do that. Um, this one will probably reduce it enough. 5.4 to and percentage of land by 3.2 to 17. So they need 15% of my land. This brings it down to 75.5, uh, so the disaster disappears. Um, yeah, let's do that. Autonomy back down to zero. That's perfect. What? Did I misread that? I did it again. I misread. Oh, that's okay. They've got lots of loyalty. I don't care. It's, they're going to demand some more land anyway as soon as I start coring stuff. Um, so, let's have a look at war with Denmark. Will you go to war with these guys? Come on. Distant war, fighting in another war, blah 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 blah. You guys will still go to war. Let's just add up what you've got. So you've got rebels in your... here, and you've got rebels, and... 
You're not in a good way. So Denmark has 13,000 troops. And Norway has... Norway has 5,000 troops and Sweden has 5,000 troops. You're heavily occupied. You're a defender against, Mus against Muscovy, but the war score isn't that bad. You've got a few occupations, but of obviously not a lot of forts. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm. wonder if I should. What's the worst that could happen? I have no manpower whatsoever, but I have a whole bunch of money. And I have a whole bunch of money because I've just um, took a whole bunch of money from England. All I need to do is occupy this. Because I have a claim on it, and that will give me some ticking war score. You're unlikely to bring troops over for quite a while. Yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is move up here. Oops. And you guys can move up here. Uh, my navy can start protecting trade for a little while. Unmothball the one transport we're going to need in order to send one troop over there and then one troop over to these ones. Let's improve relations with our allies. Because why not? Um, I'm going to... I'm going to half fund the army as well. Root out corruption. We have a lot of corruption. Okay, so I'm going to pay to reduce the war exhaustion because that's not going to come down if we declare war on Denmark. And now I can core everything. Because we need to get rid of the corruption. Because that's costing us a lot. How much was it? Two gold per month. So we've got to get rid of that. You guys march up there. There's one troop there. That's funny. Funny ha ha. Um, actually, does that one touch everything? Almost. That would be a good place to put Fort. Connock is the only one that it doesn't touch. Well, in any case, I'm going to get rid of this Fort. And I may end up putting one there in the long run. Depends if I use forts or not. At the moment I don't see any point in having forts. It's just going to cost me money. But when I turn this into Fortress Scotland, then yeah, we may need it. Okay, so put my mountains back up. I'm going to dock over here because I can just run one there, one there. Try not to move my navy around too much because they will come for me. You guys sit in there for a second. Oh, poor Ingrand. You're losing to the rebels. Estates demand control of territory. Yep. Suffered casualties. We've got some unrest. Yeah, that's okay. New mission. Naval race first, Denmark, reduce overextension, manpower needs to recover. This one will probably happen first and we get to play rep, so that's good. Oh, are we still getting subsidies from Scotland? Uh, from uh, 
From France? Yes, we are. Good. I hope that doesn't go away. Well, we've maxed out as much relations as we can, so I don't think we can really help. Savoy, Florence. Okay, that's fine. Um, what should I do? Let's see. Uh, da -da. You guys are going to sit there. You guys can sit over here. So we've got one there. Actually, just for the initial stage. I'll do a few more. Supply limit 9. Just to be able to crush him. So when we're up to full morale, then we'll declare war on Denmark. Ah! Oh! You had to release Norway! Oh, that is... Oh, that is beautiful. That is... That is beautiful! Norway's just by itself. This is going to be easy! That's... I am so lucky. I am a lucky person. I'm just going to have to feel really, really... Really lucky. I'm going to go and buy a lottery ticket. Alright. Uh, you can... Well, I suppose... Doesn't matter about that. Would have been nice for the power projection, though, to go to war with our rival Denmark, but that's okay. Um... Okay, so... Actually, you go... You go here. You guys declare war. We're going to go for Orkney. I don't think I need anyone's help. And declare war. Uh, let's see. Shift consolidate. Here we go. Oh, are you fabricating on me? You've got 25,000 rebels and 11,000 troop. Okay. Transport over to here. Uh, let's see, this side. Ah! Uh, damn it! Actually, if I put a... If I put a leader in charge of that... What did I just do? <laughs> Wrong one. Take the leader back. If I put a... Wait for this to come over. And... Can't consolidate. Oh, it's not enough. Um... I need a non-merc. Okay, so we're going to start getting a war score, which is good. But I need to occupy all the other things. So, let's go... Actually, this one, Ewan McGregor. Under the ship. Sit onto the ship. Get on the ship. Okay. 
Uh-oh. Why was I not watching? Where's my ships? I think he actually went and picked up his troop. That was very useful. Uh, let's see, 16 noble rebels rise up in Cork, get administrative power and gold and ducats, or get one stability and lose five prestige. Um, we have no manpower, although we're not really at war with anyone powerful in Cork. Where's Cork? This one. Mm. I think we're going to go for the stability. I don't think I can afford to kill another 16 noble rebels. Because my leader's about to go onto an, island, an enemy island. Um, and I'm, I don't want to make my current king when we've got an heir so young so an extra one stability seems pretty reasonable we've got lots of money it's only a 50 admin let's do that one uh one stability is worth like i don't know 100 admin points anyway so uh let's see Okay, so I just heard my timer, so if you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll see you next episode where we're going to occupy all of the Norway lands here and here and up here and here, and then that will give us a nice uh, stepping stone to exploration. So we actually may, might take exploration rather than quantity for our first um, thing because we'll be able to come through and beat the crap out of England in our second war anyway. So, uh, see you soon. Bye for now.